All right, here are solutions for perfect problem five from math to 11. Uh, this is what's called a cryptogram. This is a little puzzle where, or cryptorhythm, I suppose, where each letter here represents a digit, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And when you make all those substitutions, you get a true statement here. Uh, so what I did is I kind of put some blanks here that I'll be able to fill in and then wrote all the digits from 0 to 9 so I can kind of cross them out as I go. And you're given a little bit of a hint. You're told in this problem that n equals 5. So you're just given this off the bat that n is equal to 5, and so that allows me to put a 5 here, and here, and here. And it turns out that with that information, you can figure out everything else. You don't even need to do any guess and checking in this problem. You can talk yourself through the entire thing. So how do you do that? Well, a good place to start is figure out what d must be equal to. 5 plus 5 is 10, but d is not equal to 10 because when you're adding using the standard algorithm, you just write the ones digit here. So 5 plus 5 is 10, I'd kind of carry a 1 up here to represent 10 and write a 0 down here. Uh, so that tells me that D must be equal to 0 here. And maybe I'll keep track of what I've figured out. This is a 5, this is a 5, this is a 0. I'm carrying 1, and this is a 5 right here. So where do I go from here? Well, a couple of hints uh, that I mentioned to you in class is it really helps to keep track of the carry whether there is one or not, so writing this one up here will be useful. Um, and even writing a zero if there's if you figured out that there is no carry there. The other place where I told you to get started is by looking at this column, an E plus an A equals an E. How is that possible? Well, there's a number, A, that leaves some other number, E, unchanged. And you're like, oh, right, zero, right? Something plus zero is still that something. E plus zero is still E, right? But we're already used up zero. D is zero, so A cannot be equal to zero. So how could that possibly happen? Well, another way I could leave the E unchanged in this column is if I added 10 to it. If you add zero to it, it stays unchanged. If you add 10 to it, it'll also stay unchanged. It'll just carry one into the next column. And I can add 10 to it. You might not think I can because A cannot be equal to 10. That's true. But A could be equal to 9. In fact, A is equal to 9 if you carried one into that column. So I must have carried one into this column. One is the most I can carry into a given column. And then had nine more down here in order to leave the E unchanged. And that 10 right there plus the E left the ones digit in that E unchanged and carried one into this column here. So that gives me a little bit more information. I got nines and fives and ones figured out. Uh, let's see, where can I go next? I think a good place to go is looking at this column. So figuring out what r must be equal to. Note that there's an r right here and an r right here. By looking at this r, we know that r has to be pretty big because I'm taking 5 and actually one more, really 6, and then I'm adding to 6. So some number bigger than 6, c more than 6, gives me an r. I don't carry. There's no extra digit here. So this must be a number that is larger than 5, really larger than 6. It'll turn out even larger than that how to figure out what r is equal to. But I have several large numbers. I still have an 8 left over, and a 7 left over, and I guess even a 6 left over. Which of those is r equal to? Well, we can figure that out by looking at this column. So note that o is the same. I don't know what number o is, but I'm adding an o and another o. Whether o is an even number or an odd number, when I add two of them together, I'm going to get an even number. So o plus o must be even, but I carried one into that column. So O plus O plus 1 would be odd. What I'm saying is R has to be an odd number, and it has to be big. It has to be an odd number because of this column, and it has to be big because of this column. Well, look at your odd numbers. Right? The only large odd number left is 7. My odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, and 9. 5 and 9 are gone. 1 and 3 are too small. This could not possibly be a 1 or a 3 here, because 5 is already more than a 1 or a 3. R must be equal to 7. This must be a 7 here. This must be a 7 here. I guess I could fill those in up here if I felt like it. Uh, and put an R down there. And that's nice because that tells me what C must be equal to. 5 plus 1 more gives me 6, plus 1 more gives me 7. C must be equal to 1. Use that up as well. I guess I'm not crossing them out over here. Just put a C there. Uh, so if I filled in everything that I have, I don't know E's, L, oh, I got an R here. I think I skipped that R. Uh, so this is a 7 as well. well that could be useful. Uh, and then I think I have filled everything else in. So let's start with the O's now. So I have O plus O plus 1 gives me 7. 
So you might think that O would have to be equal to 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 more gives me 7. That's true. Um, but there's another possibility as well. So if O is equal to 8, 8 plus 8 would be 16. And 16 plus 1 more would give me 17, which would still leave me with a 7 right here. So I don't know which of those two I get, but I think I can deduce my way through this and figure it out. Um, and the hint, or the way I like to think about this, is by staring at these two S's. I had to pause this because I didn't see what my mistake was. I knew I skipped something. Uh, earlier I figured out that A was equal to 9. I wrote this A right here and this 9 right here. There's an A right here. That means that this is a 9 right here. And that will be really useful if I know that this is a 9. This is an odd number here. Um, I added up two S's to get an odd number. An S plus another S must be even, but I got an odd. Oh, I must have carried one over here. Well, if I carried one over here, then this plus this was not 7. It was really 17. So there's a number here plus that same number, these O's. When I add them together and add one more, I get 17. What that means are those O's must be equal to 8. This must have been an 8 here and an 8 here to get 16. One more gave me 17. I wrote the 7 there and carried the 1 over here. So these O's are equal to 8's. Uh, and that will give me all sorts of information because now that I know that I carried one over here, I can stare at this column. And I'm not sure whether the sum of this column was 9 or 19 at this point. I don't know if I carried into this column. But if it were 19, think about how you would get 19 from one column. Well, I'd need a 1, a 9, and a 9. But these can't possibly both be 9s because I already used the 9 down here. So this column did not sum to 19, it summed to 9. In other words, I did not carry into this column. And I took some number twice, added one to it to get nine, that number must have been four. What I'm saying are these S's are both fours. I haven't been a good, doing a good job of keeping up down here. This A was a nine. Fours are S's here. I have my number filled in pretty well here. Let's see, I got A's taken care of. I still have E's, W's, and L's. But I think I can solve all of those because now I don't have that many more options. I have two, three, and six. So I added one of those numbers and seven to get a two-digit number, 10 plus some more. So if this were a two and seven, I'd only get a nine. It wouldn't be big enough. If this were a three and a seven, I'd get a 10. Um, so this would have to be a zero, but that doesn't work either because I've already used the zero. It must be a six and a seven, which gives me 13, which is three and carry a one. So what I'm saying is the L must be equal to six and the W must be equal to three. And that leaves only one number left in place of the E's there, my twos. So both of these E's are twos. As I figured out earlier, this A was a nine, this L was a six. And so this will end up being my only possible solution. Uh, in place of two, there was supposed to be an E there. Uh, maybe I'll say C video for explanations. And then in this video here.